Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the reactions at the supports. First, we'll draw the reaction forces at A and B. A is a roller, so we only have one reaction force acting perpendicular to the surface. B is a pin, so we will have an X and Y component. Next, we'll find the total load acting at the center of the beam, using the equation of a triangle. 1 half base times height, where the height is the given load of 400 newton meters and the base is 6 meters, we get that the total load is 1200 newtons. Now we'll split force A into X and Y components using the given angle ratio. If we redraw this given angle ratio like so, we can manipulate the ratio to get that sine theta equals 0 0.8 and cosine theta equals 0 0.6. We can use these angles to create expressions for FAX and FAY, where FAY is the force A times 0 0.8 and FAX is the force A times 0 0.6. Next, we'll write an equation for the moment about point B, which equals 0. Taking the moment about point B allows us to eliminate the reaction forces at B and directly solve for the reaction force at A. That gives us the equation shown, where 0 equals the total load times its distance from B, which is 3 meters, minus the Y component of force A times its distance from B, which is 6 meters. Isolating this equation for the reaction force, we get that FAY is equal to 750 newtons. Next, we can write an equation for the sum of the horizontal forces, that is the X components. This equation we get is 0 equals FAX plus FBX, where FAX is 750 times 0 0.6. Isolating for FBX, we get that it equals 450 newtons. You might get a negative answer here, but recall that a force is always positive. So the final answer is positive 450 newtons. We will repeat the same process for the vertical forces, or in other words, the Y components, making sure to include the given load we can create the following equation which after isolating for FBY results in 600 newtons and there you have it. Quick statics answers.